Hi there, I'm Dr. Victoria Cloud and I'm here explaining some accounting. In this video, I'm looking at an illustration of the first in first out FIFO uh, inventory costing and versus weighted average costing and comparing uh, how that's going to impact on the cost of goods sold and inventory valuation and the profit that's determined. McKay Limited, an electronics store, has considered switching from weighted average to FIFO for its inventory valuation. Prices have been rising over this period, and the cost of a unit of the gate game gear is now $90, whereas the first units that they purchased during the period were only $40. The increase in the price of this particular game is due to the release of the film by the same name. There were 1,000 units originally purchased at $40 per unit and 100 units purchased subsequently at the higher price of $90. Ending inventory for the period contained 50 units. The sales price per unit was $200 and remained constant throughout the period. So we're asked in this question, which accounts will be affected by a change in the accounting from weighted average to FIFO and provide an explanation of how these accounts will be affected from weighted average to FIFO. This is going to change our cost of goods sold account and also ending inventories. So the explanation, how, how are these accounts affected? Weighted average, it would smooth out the unit cost because it is an average measure it averages the 90 plus the $40 and spreads it over both cost of goods sold and ending inventories. Whereas on the other hand, FIFO, FIFO uses the first units purchased to be the first units sold. These first units sold would appear in cost of goods sold. And then what we, the FIFO method does is to leave the later more expensive units in ending inventories. So the later units that we purchased at $90 per unit will remain behind in ending finished inventories. So the next part of the question asks us, if the company uses weighted average cost, how would we calculate this? So average cost, we calculate as the initial units, $40 times 1,000 units at that price plus the later $90 units times 100 units. We then divide that by the total number of units, 1,100. This gives us a weighted average cost of $44.55, and we round that up to the nearest cent. So the nearest whole cent. Ending inventory, we calculate this as that average cost, $44.55, multiplied by the 50 units the question tells us remain in ending inventory. This gives us 2,227 and 50 cents. So what would be cost of goods sold under weighted average? So it would be the first part of this calculation is to determine how many units were sold. So we know we purchased a total of 1,100 units during the period and we were told that 50 units remained in finished in ending inventory. So those 50 are unsold. So 1,100 minus 50 multiplied by the average cost, $44.55. This gives us cost of goods sold of $46,777.50. The question now asks us to calculate gross profit. So gross profit is the difference between the sales revenue minus cost of goods sold. To determine the sales revenue, it's $200 times the number of units sold, which is 1,050. We then minus this sales revenue by the cost of goods sold, which we calculated in the previous step, $46,777.50. This gives us under weighted average a gross profit of $163,222.50. We 
We can now compare this, these calculations under weighted average with calculations under FIFO. If the company had used FIFO for its inventory calculations, we are asked then to calculate the following. The first being ending inventory. Under FIFO, the first units are sold first. So those cheaper $40 units would have been sold first. What's left behind in ending inventory is the more expensive units at $90. So we multiply $90 per unit by 50 units. So they're the 50 units left behind. So our ending inventory will be 4,500. So those more expensive units are left in ending inventory compared to weighted average. The question then asks us to calculate cost of goods sold. So FIFO, we sell the cheaper units first, first in, first sold, first out. So 1,000 units that we originally purchased, we multiply them by $40, the earlier cheaper price. Then the additional 50 units that we sell above the 1,000 units, we multiply, multiply them by $90. This gives us a lower cost of goods sold amount compared to weighted average of 44,500. The question then asks us to calculate the gross profit under FIFO. So it's the $200 per unit selling price times the number of units that we sold, 1,050, minus cost of goods sold, 44,500. So this results in a gross profit of 165,500. So because we've had put in those earlier cheaper units into cost of goods sold, we have under FIFO a higher gross profit compared to weighted average. Thanks for watching this video and check out my other videos on other accounting topics.